You are tuned in to the Gift of Gab podcast, a podcast where we are intentionally growing, accepting, and becoming the best version of ourselves. We focus on all things healing, wellness, spirituality, self-development, and bettering our relationship with ourselves and others. In every episode, we'll be reflecting on lessons learned through past experiences, setting goals, and helping each other reach our fullest potential. I am your host, Gabriel Ariana, and welcome to this week's episode. Hello, you guys. Welcome back. It's your girl, Gabrielle Ariana, and we're back with another episode. Um, I'm super excited because I don't know, I just I feel in good spirits today. And yeah, so let's just do a little catch up, a little recap. We are in the new year, according to the Gregorian calendar. Um, So, you know, new vibes, new energy, new beginnings. As you guys can see from the title, we're going to be talking about those types of things today. Um, So yeah, it's definitely after the new year. So new year has passed. So happy new year to everyone that celebrates the new year. I personally do not feel aligned to the new year according to the Gregorian calendar. It just does not. It It doesn't seem like newness around this time of the year, especially because it's winter. This is when things are dying. You're just kind of hibernating. You're just kind of, you're in like a hiatus. You're just away. You're tucked away. Um, so it just doesn't seem like a new year naturally. So naturally, I don't. More recently, I haven't um, within the past like few years been celebrating the new year around this time. So it just doesn't feel natural to me to celebrate a new year in December and January in a time where it's just it's cold it's really dark it's winter it's not really newness naturally outside um however i I, though i don't celebrate it as a new year i do feel like a shift i do feel like this new beginning has kind of just taken over like i'm entering this new chapter and what i want to talk about or kind of like break down is the song um feeling good by nina simone I love, 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 love Nina Simone so bad. Um, she's one of my favorite artists um, musically, also just as her, her who she is, is who she was as a person. Um, she was such a carefree. She was very, like, herself unapologetically. She's very raw and real, and I, I love all those things, especially her music. There are certain songs of hers that I really, really, really love and that really aligns with me and I do want to start introducing music um and and film into my podcast because I love film I love movies I love tv shows and I love music I just love all things art in any form or fashion and I feel like those things are I feel like like music film tv art in general um, whether it's through entertainment or visually or through, you know, you're listening through your ears, you know, with sound and things like that can really help you. It, it, it helps you on life. It helps you in navigating life because you never know what song you may hear that can really describe or talk about an emotion that you feel through something that you've been through or the song that you're listening to that is narrating something that you've experienced or it's the words that's allowing you to kind of feel healing through the music through the sound through the instruments etc or you know even watching a movie or tv show you feel seen because you're seeing a character that you can really align with um and you know through their personality traits character traits or just the actual things that they've gone through seeing how they get over the overcome those things etc so i love movie i love film i love music and so there's actually another song that i wanted to talk about but this one feels more aligned with how I'm really feeling right now with this you know new year that and I'm putting quotation marks when I say new year um because I personally celebrate the new year or feel like a newness when it is springtime when there actually is new and and flowers blooming and the sun coming out and all those beautiful things however you know I'll talk more into depth about that once that time comes but as of now I do want to talk about just entering a new chapter. So even there are people that, you know, the new year comes, you feel this pressure to get your shit together. You feel this pressure to self-reflect very deeply and really overanalyze your entire life and specifically your entire life and you as a person, the people that you've been around and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, over the course of the past previous 12 months. 
and it kind of puts people I feel like in this space of feeling like I have to change I have to do something different I have to become a new person it's new year new me new goals new this I'm gonna finally do the things that I said I was gonna do and personally <clears throat> although I don't align with this new year as you know January 1st or whatever and I do feel like connected to the newness of spring I am an advocate for at any given moment your life can change I've said this plenty of times before on my podcast and you know at any given moment your, your, your life can change at any given moment you can enter a new chapter you can enter a newness a newfound you know way of thinking a newfound way of viewing life a new way of, of of just you know feeling the urge to want to do something different than you've done before um but I also want to talk about how there's nothing wrong with staying the same in certain areas of your life if that same that you've been that you're wanting to stay in or be consistent in it's essentially helping you you know get to this goal or become this person um and I actually had came across uh, a post on Instagram by one of my few mutuals someone that I follow and their post was basically talking about like instead of setting goals or or I'm going to say I'm going to change or I'm going to do something different I'm going to do this and, and just create a whole list of things that I'm going to do differently and say basically like new year new me I'm not going to do that they're basically saying like I'm going to kind of keep going where I'm already at because where I'm at now were the changes that I've made previously and these changes that I've made previously have you know been helping me and allowing me to be consistent in some capacity so I'm going to stay in this before I go trying to you know do a 180 and change or, or add something different or take away something um from what I've been doing whether that's their habits etc and I'm kind of like interpreting it how I perceived it based off what they said um they could have been a, a bunch of different things but along the lines they're basically saying like I'm not going to be trying a whole 180 and do like a new year new me they're basically saying like I'm just going to you know I like where I'm at right now I I love how much I've grown and how much I've grown and the things that I've done to get me to this point has been really helping me so I'm going to continuously stay in this instead of deciding like you know what let me just do a whole bunch of different things and, and, and try to you know expedite my growth and expedite my me reaching this goal or intentions that I have set for myself and I really love that because it brought me to kind of reflect like you know because I don't feel aligned with wanting to go out and just make a vision board and do it and, and trust me when I tell you I was the person who um made some vision boards every year digitally physically I actually have a physical vision board that I created for last year and maybe a good one percent of on that vision board has actually happened um and let's say that you know it it didn't happen like the things on there didn't happen because of like well I mean life just been lifing y'all and that was my previous episode and how much life has been lifing and I I, I don't want to be the person that's continuously rolling over the same goals that I've had the year previously I want to be the person that would reflect and say okay I've had these goals last year the year before etc cetera, etc cetera, you know whatever it is and I haven't achieved them just yet what is it the reasoning as to why I haven't achieved them so that's kind of where I'm at in life um and yeah so I, I used to be that person I was like let me get the digital boards let me make the vision board let me you know do I know this year people have been talking about um making like a, a life bingo card or something like that like you know this is on my bingo card for 2024 and I'm going to be the I made an overall vision board last year not specifically for going into the year 2023 but just a vision board of just the things that I want to you know accomplish or you know have done and in, in life in general so it's a vision board that will roll over with me however yeah however you know I'm just trying to kind of stay out of the mainstream of what everyone else is doing and just stick to my own lane and do what is working for me and what I really feel aligned with and I do not feel aligned with the new year like I just don't but I do feel a new beginning I do feel a newness and so this was kind of a long overdue not really intro but just you know me talking um but I want to talk about the song because what, what I really think of when I think of newness in general or just new beginnings is the song feeling good by Nina Simone I love her I did say that and then I just kind of took a little turn but that's my that's my brain you guys so many different tabs open that I can't not talk about what's open in those tabs in my head because it's just kind of all connects in some type of capacity however anyways moving forward let's get to the points the point is it's a new dawn it's a new day it's a new life for me and I am feeling 
good now i love this song so bad and the lyrics like you know it's just it's just basically exuding newness it's exuding the love of life it's exuding finding the little things that are happening in front of you like every day that is an example that exemplifies new beginnings that exemplifies like this is something to to feel good about this is something to feel grateful about and she kind of you know she goes into other things and says like you know fish in the sea you know how i feel river running free blossoms on the tree dragonfly out in the sun butterflies all having fun sleep in peace when day is done and that's what i mean and this old world is a new world and a bold world for me come on y'all that was a that was a word she said i'm gonna say that again because it was really a word and i I really felt it as i was just saying it just now but she said in this old world is a new world and a bold world for me and i i wanted to talk about this song and really just kind of not go in depth of everything that she's saying because essentially each you know um throughout the song she's just giving different examples of like things that kind of says like hey you know when the stars are shining you know how i feel when the scent of pine you know that smells real good it just this is how i feel freedom is mine and i know how i feel it's kind of like the song kind of progresses to this 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 confidence this 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 embodiment of i really know how i feel i know that this i'm stepping into this new chapter i know that this is a a new life and a new beginning for me and i feel confident in this and i'm seeing these things outside of me that is like reminding me and kind of confirming to me i'm in a new beginning i'm in newness these are the things to be grateful for these are the things that kind of exemplifies new beginnings and and etc so i love this song i love nina simone so much um and i wanted to talk about it because that's really kind of that's that's been me right now so i didn't celebrate the new year coming to new year with all these different things and said i'm going to do this and do that I'm, i'm not doing that this year because I just not you know and I feel like we feel pressured to do those things especially because of social media especially now in times of social media it's like get your 12 grades and eat those 12 grades in the first minute get under the table make sure you're doing this make sure you're doing that walk and run inside of your house with the luggage do all these different things now I do feel like you know you should clean up your house like your space should always be clean and in cleanliness and cleanse and things like that I do believe in that however when you think about you know naturally of life and, and just the seasons of life spring cleaning is a thing like where you want to really deep clean and declutter in this when you're before you're entering the springtime so you know it makes sense for me that makes sense i feel more aligned with that however i'm still like a cleanless person i want to make sure things are clean and neat and cleansed and etc but i didn't feel like a huge shift of oh i'm entering a new year i felt a shift of i'm entering this new chapter of my life i'm entering a new beginning and i'm essentially just going into it and deciding that i'm going to view life in a different mindset right i'm going to do probably one thing differently two things differently or i'm going to continuously doing what i've been doing because it's been helping me to this point um and i i wanted to really like just let people know like that's something that you can do at any given moment at any given moment it's not set in stone that it has to be the first you don't have to do the vision board on the first it doesn't have to like it doesn't have to be that type of way you can do a vision board a quarterly board uh, uh, whatever you want whatever you call it whenever you want to do that because this is your life right like it's, it's it's you're the one that's living it so you can if you feel aligned and utilize the energy of you know people saying that the new year is january 1st then yeah i'm not gonna say don't alchemize those opportunities in those times of the year if you feel aligned with it but if you don't don't feel bad because you don't you know like at the end of the day it's your life and you can choose when you want to go and step into a new beginning you get to choose when you step into a new year so you can choose when and how you're going to go about doing those things right and you can choose whether or not you want to continue to stay the same because there's nothing wrong with stay the same and i know i talk about on here like you know growth and we're here to intentionally grow of course accept and become someone better but sometimes you know a part of becoming someone better or a part of your growth is you not doing anything different because you can grow in areas that is not going to help you later on down the line until you realize like damn i didn't grew in this habit of doing these things that are not aligned that's not really helping me right so growth is something that i feel like it's just inevitable 
and you're going to grow regardless and sometimes we grow in ways that's helping us and other times we're growing in ways that is actually derailing us from actually becoming this person that we're striving towards becoming and it's better to be the person that's aware to say hey me doing this has allowed me to get to this point or this me doing this has allowed me to be consistent right because a lot of people when it comes to this you know this new year is oh, i'm gonna go to the gym i'm going to change how i eat i'm going to do all the things right the health things the fitness things etc and then it's like you don't want to grow in this habit or even in the mindset of feeling like you have to be doing certain things that to grow right you can you can take away a little bit of things without having to add so much on your, more on your plate that is going to essentially kind of run you dry and, and and leave you feeling like you know defeated or feeling exhausted because you're over exhausting yourself with all these different things that you're trying to now implement because it's a new year no you can spoon feed yourself little actions and habits and things that you're wanting to do that you feel aligned with that is going to essentially help you become this person that's going to really add to your growth it's going to add to your your self-development you know or add to you creating new relationships so it doesn't have to be all right now within this first quarter because even this first quarter is really the last quarter and i'm speaking on more with spiritual if you like aligned with the astrological you know new year where it starts in in Aries season which I'm actually in Aries which is probably why I don't feel aligned with this right now with this current time of like oh the new year's in December and Capricorn season like that doesn't make sense but anyways I digress um I have decided I, I just been in the space of like okay so it's, it's a new chapter for me it's a, it's it's a new dawn it's a new day and it's a new life for me my world is changing as i see it and i'm seeing things outside of my world manifest or materialize that's like reminding me i am in this new world because i decided to be in this new world not because everyone else is like oh it's a new year but because i decided and i feel aligned and connected to the fact that i really just entered this new chapter i'm really in this new beginning and i don't know what's written to happen next and I don't know any of those things but I feel it and I feel it so deeply and so yeah that's just been where I'm at and I definitely love it here because I, I love being in a space of knowing that I don't have to do what everyone else is doing I don't have to you know feel so pressured to be doing more than what I'm already doing but to be content in what I am doing and give myself my own little flowers and grace in the things that I've done and been consistent in doing. And so that's how I'm feeling, y'all. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. It's a new life for me. And I feel like that song is very affirming. Like you can only affirm that and speak that over your own life. Can nobody else speak that on your own life? Speak that on your life or speak that for you and really feel it to the to the core of the way in which she was really saying it like the words that she was saying the things the examples that she used were like hey these are my reminders so what are those reminders for you like what little changes or little things that you're not even not even a change but what are, what are the things that you're now noticing that it's like oh this is what i this is how i know i'm entering a new chapter right i've decided and it could be small things it could be big things it could be whatever you deem it out to be but for me it's been really like okay it's been reflecting on where was I this exact moment last year and I look at that more of less of like the year that it was but the fact that it's been 365 days since right because I've noticed a theme of me being in recycled recycled circumstances and situations around the same time or close to the same time frame and I'm like okay so I was in this situation or this experience I've had experienced something like this similarly this time last year or around this time and this is how it panned out right what am I going to do differently like what is it like what's the common denominator because oftentimes a lot of the times we are our own common denominator between the things that's happening for us I'm not gonna say to us but for us for our greater good you know whether we believe it in that moment or not but that's essentially what it is and that's a whole thing I can talk about like later but anywho um what what am I gonna do differently this time now that this situation I'm in now this seems very very familiar because it's very similar to a previous situation that I was in 
how am I going to do, how am I going to navigate in this situation differently? And that's kind of been like my reminder of like, okay, this is how I know I'm in this new chapter, this new beginning, because what is my thing that's going to remind, that's letting me know, like, you're going to do something different because this is a new world this time. It's not the same world that I was in before. It's not this old world, that world that I was in before. I'm in this new one. So what is me in this new world essentially navigate how did they go about you know handling these types of things or just navigating life right and that's why I love the song because essentially that's what she's kind of saying like it was this old world that I was once in but now it's a new world but it's a bold one for me like this time it's a bold one any other time you can always shift into like a new world or a new again like a new year a new chapter a new beginning etc but this time yeah it's a new beginning but it's a bold new beginning it's a bold new world it's 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 a space and an environment that is like okay it's not going to be like what it was before right i can feel that and i know that i'm going to make sure of it because of how i'm going to navigate in it within in it and that's going to be all that i need to know that this time is different right because I'm going to be different. I'm going to, and it'll have to be something major. It could be the smallest of things of just having that mental, that literal mindset shift of, oh, this is a, this is a new beginning, but this is a different type of new beginning. This one feels a little bit different. This one feels more in my favor. This one feels more abundant. This one feels more prosperous. This one feels more, you know, with grace and with ease. It feels more aligned with this person that I, that I am and the person that I'm becoming. It feels more like she said bold you know and for myself my identifier has been my mindset I've been really like I do not want to operate in the mindset that I was operating in before because that in certain areas and certain you know aspects of life it just kind of depends on which area but because that that mindset that I was you know operating in before was just kind of bringing me more of these things that I was like not wanting to have to experience and that just was not favorable to me so this time around it's like okay let's shift our mindset and let's figure out how do we materialize that mindset shift how does that materialize in our bold new world and so right now I'm just kind of here and I'm allowing space for the universe God you know to kind of show me what that looks like physically a bold new world that's confirming to me like hey this time is different this time is bolder it's better it's greater and I'm here for it I'm loving it this is my my new chapter my new beginning and I love newness because at any moment new things can happen for you good things can happen for you great things can happen for you you can have this this shift of feeling so aligned with something that you never once knew that you would be aligned with or that you would experience in a certain way and so I'm just very very open to all those beautiful things and I'm wanting to just be more open and accepting of the unknown and I I say this because and I've been kind of preaching this in like a few other episodes there's just so much we literally don't know and I feel like you know before when I would say like oh yeah I'm accepting to the unknown I was but I still had a vision of what that unknown looked like now I'm at the point where I'm like I don't need to paint the picture of what the unknown looks like I'm still debunking that though because my mind is so imaginative I'm going to allow the unknown to be exactly that unknown so that when it happens I was not expecting it but I'm like oh I'm thankful that this just happened you know because it obviously wasn't going to happen any other way but it's going to happen in the ways that you don't imagine and I've been just really slowly but surely placing myself in that mindset so you know no it's not a new year for me but it's definitely a new beginning it's definitely a new world a bold world for me and I'm feeling good about it I'm feeling great and that's all I can really do is allow myself that space and grace to <clears throat> be comfortable where I'm at but still allow allow you know uncomfortability in certain areas and be allow myself to perceive things in a way that is positive and that I know is essentially for my you know my favor and that is for my highest good and I love that for me and I you know and if if for you guys that are listening if this feels like a new year to you that's great that's amazing um 
and happy new years you know happy to your new beginnings to whatever you know in, in intentions you have set for yourself whatever goals aspirations i pray that you all achieve those and you reach those higher highest of highest heights um in life but don't feel pressured to have to do all these things to change don't feel like you have to change sometimes change not changing at all is also is is what you the very thing that you should be doing or is really needing what is what's needed for you to reach those goals and intentions and things like that so slowing down like i came into this i don't want to say new year but this time just kind of resting and not feeling pressure to do all these things and just kind of letting my body rest and chill and i definitely feel like that's been a huge thing for me is like girl sit down and stop doing so much just sit down so i've been sitting down and i'm gonna pray that that you know helps me actually jump forward a few steps um you know so yeah that's that's been this you know episode y'all i love nina i'm gonna definitely like add you know talk about more songs and things like that because i just love music and i love movies and i love when songs can really really like speak to your soul and a lot of you know nina simone songs speak to my soul i know it speaks to a lot of people's soul because that woman is very soulful and she just i love her <laughs> so bad y'all but yeah it's a new dawn it's a new day i'm feeling good and happy new year's to you guys if it's a new year for you happy just all those things so sending prayers well wishes love positive vibes abundance and prosperity to all of us may it all come to us stretch fold um may we all achieve all the beautiful goals and intentions that we have set out for ourselves and also just be open to you know beautiful things happening for you and new relationships another thing i'm trying to shift this mindset i'm just really just trying to do like okay let me be more accepting of things happening in my life that has never happened before right so that's been where i'm at and i'm praying all those things for you all but i hope you guys enjoyed this episode i'll see y'all in the next one Thank you so much for tuning in to this week's episode of the Gift of Gab podcast. Be sure to follow us on all social media platforms at the Gift of Gab underscore pod. I will speak to you all next week. Thank you guys so much. Continue to grow, accept, and become someone greater than you are now.